Hello and happy uh, St. Valentine's Day to the gamers. It's a landmark day today. For the first time in two months, I have added a new tag to the stream. It is now Bald Peloton Groceries and... I don't want to put the flex on them a little bit. But I got to say Costco Executive Member. That's true. I know. I know. I'm probably this sort of guy when I walk into Costco, you, you look me up and down and you say, this guy's probably a Gold Star member at $60 a year. No, 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 no. We sprung for the executive membership this year. Ooh, baby. You know what that gets you? 2% um, cash back on all purchases at Costco, which is pretty good to begin with. It also gets you a subscription to um, the bi-monthly publication Costco Connect, which is a magazine exclusively consisting of advertisements about things that you could get at Costco. But then it also has like a occasion, it'll be, it'll be like 30 pages of ads and then an article about like how to manage your mental health and stuff like that, which I, I read the whole thing cover to cover. I got, catch my ass reading Costco Connect, learning about how to manage burnout at work, and also like, hey, geez, $5,500 hot tub. I got no place to put it, but at the same time, it's $500 off. I'd be stupid not to buy it, honestly. So I went to, I, I mean, if I, I, I've long been a Costco enjoyer. I would simply say that previously our living situation in Vancouver I don't know why I'm phrasing it in such a strange way. We didn't have enough space to buy things at Costco on the regular. We, 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 when we got a car, we were like, oh, now that we have a car, we should get a Costco membership. We went to Costco and we're like, we bought three things and we're like, where the hell are we going to put this shit? We can't fit it in our house. But a few years ago, pre-pandemic, pre, uh, which I almost just called pre-Peloton, um, we moved to a slightly larger house that has some storage. And then Costco had a, a deal or an offer, I should say, this month. If you got, if you referred someone to Costco, check this out, okay? And they got a membership for a year. They got a $50 coupon for Costco. You got a $50 coupon for Costco. You both got $1.34 kilograms of peanut butter pretzels 1.34 kilograms i knew that there was going to be peanut butter pretzels involved i did not know that it was going to be 1.34 kilograms but i guess they don't make small things at costco so we went with one of the families from daycare we were like are you costco members they said you know it we went to the um we went to the Costco with them. We signed up for the executive membership. We both got our coupons. We both got our pretzels. We bonded a little bit. It was insane because the Costco is right across the street from the, the arena where the Canucks were playing. So the cafeteria was a damn madhouse. Also, I, like, it's a pretty anecdote rich afternoon for us. Because we also had tickets to see the Red Wings at the Canucks last night. And by the time we got to the Costco... It's 5.30, the game starts at 7, we spend an hour in the Costco buying stuff, we gotta go home, we're gonna make it back for the game, but it'll be late. I said, you know what, I'm a little tired, why don't we just say, those tickets for tonight, it's a sunk cost, I don't really feel like I need to go to the game, it's okay, like we'll just call this, we'll, we'll just take the L on this one. I got home, turned it on TV, 6-1, 6-1 Detroit versus Vancouver, I'm, I'm glad I didn't... Uh, you know, screw up my nighttime routine in order to rush down and see that one is honestly one, like one of the smartest decisions I've made this year so far. I thought they were due. I thought they were due too, honestly. But just, I don't know, something that I, I literally, when I was in the Costco and I was getting 30 pouches of bio steel hydration powder and I was getting. My, my baby loved croissants. I said, let's get some croissants. You imagine. You, you know how, what, it, what it felt like, I have to imagine? You ever hear the anecdote? This is going to be a little spicy, I'm sure. You ever hear the anecdote of Mikhail Gorbachev going to the United States of America in the 1980s? And uh, they took him to like a Wegmans or something to see all the food. And he was like, okay, guys, 
I get that you got- you made like a special grocery store full of all this food so that you would like impress me, but show me your real grocery store. Show me where the real people shop. And they were like, Gorbachev, this is just a Wegmans, man. There's like another grocery store just across the parking lot that looks exactly the same. And then he like broke down in tears and that's- that's when he started Perestroika. And, and, you know, the, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall, etc., etc. That's how I felt when my ass was paying $7 for like 300 grams of hummus at my local grocery store. And then I, I look at um, Costco and I'm like, oh my god, the hummus here is only $5.99. It's a dollar cheaper. And then I pick up the hummus and it's fucking two hummuses, dude! It's twice as much hummus for a dollar less. That's I want to cry thinking about all the all the money I've thrown away buying hummus over the past six months when I could have been buying the hummus at Costco and getting two percent cash back. Anyway, that's about all I got. <laughs> is it a lot of is it a lot of hummus? Yeah, but I'll I'll eat it, man. Man, what did I get at Costco though? Whew. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Big box of croissants, two hummuses, three pack of rosemary ham deli meat, 30 satchels of uh, bio steel hydration powder, 1.34 kilograms peanut butter pretzels, eight pairs of socks. For $14.99 Canadian, I didn't know it was possible to, to manufacture and sell socks at, at this price. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm living the dream, man. Like a pound of beef jerky. I don't know, I, I was, I was starting to think about this. <laughs> don't say thank you, thank you, child labor. I don't know. Bro, it's Kirkland Signature. They probably... They probably got, like, senior citizens making $33 an hour making those socks. Probably, probably, if I had to guess. At that price point? It's... Th th honest question. Is... How much of the co the fact that Costco's cheaper, relatively cheaper at least, how much is subsidized by people who buy memberships, forget they have them, and never use them? Is it like credit card reward points and stuff? Where, like, the, the reason you can get 2% cash back is because somebody out there is paying 17% interest annually. Their money is mostly made from memberships. That's kind of crazy. Memberships don't make them much money. That's kind of crazy. That's too diametrically... Uh, those two things cannot be true at the same time. <laughs> Membership is almost all of their profit. They make about 2% per year, and those 2% are almost entirely memberships. But then they on the executive membership, they pay 2% cash back. And then if you get the MasterCard, it's 3% cash back at restaurants, 2% cash back at Costco.ca, and 1% cash back everywhere. How do they make it work? And then the hot dog's like a buck fifty-nine. It doesn't make any sense. There's no way they're not losing money on the hot dogs. I have to, I mean, that's got to be a loss leader. A buck fifty nine Canadian for a, a huge hot dog and a fountain drink. I get this soda's like, you know, one cent per liter or whatever, but still. What the hell is this most recent poll? Will NL be late? Okay. How many wins will we get? Also, I forgot. So I I shopped at Costco with my parents when I was like a adolescent, and then I went for like six months in 2015. I forgot the checkout process where you like put your cart on one side, and then they have a cashier, but then they also have like a cart steward that takes your cart and loads the stuff into the cart. My kid freaked out. It's like she was sitting in the baby seat in the shopping cart and I put her like next to the conveyor belt and then just some dude came over and like with a smile on his face grabbed the cart and was like time for a roller coaster ride and then just dragged her like over to the other side of the conveyor belt. She was just like her face turned beet red and she was just like daddy 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 daddy. Anyway, she got over it. Why is Costco executive member in the tags? 
I, if you weren't here for the start of the stream, you might be wondering why Costco executive member is one of the tags. It's because yesterday I got a Costco executive membership. Oh, baby. I'm not going to go through the whole song and dance of where we talked about it at the start of the stream today. Suffice to say, I'm very happy. I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> Welcome to the club. What a great store. You know what, too? When we bought the membership, the lady, she basically welcomed us with open arms. She handed us a pamphlet and was like, look at all this stuff that you can get at Costco. And I thought it was just going to be like, you know, Kirkland Signature long sleeve or three-quarter length shirts or something like that. Three-quarter zip-ups, right? You know what she's, she told us? She said you can get term life insurance here. You can actually get home insurance at Costco. I, we were walking around the store. I got an optometrist appointment in uh, like three weeks or something like that. I'm not buying glasses at the optometrist. My ass is taking the prescription that they give me. I'm running it down to Kirkland. I'm getting some Kirkland Signature glasses. Hopefully, it's been almost two years of these glasses where the frames are so big, it looks like I don't have eyebrows. I hope you're ready for me to get my eyebrows back. I'll be unstoppable. They got, a, they got a pharmacy in there. You can buy vacations from Costco and with the executive membership, 2% <laughs> cash back up to a maximum of $1,000 a year. But still, but still, I, mean, I don't think we're spending 50 grand a year at Costco to hit that limit to begin with. That would be, I don't know, we'd probably have to they'd have an intervention or something like that. Also, when I was reading the Costco magazine, there was a, I swear to God, there was a helmet in there that shoots lasers at your scalp to reverse male pattern baldness. Now, I don't know if it works, but the inventor did apparently win a Hollywood Beauty Award. And that's got to count for something, right? <laughs> I should give it a try. I think it's probably good to wear a helmet that shoots lasers at your scalp. It seems like... A, in the interview, he, he said, the only people who shouldn't use it are people with skin cancer and pregnant women. And I was like, that sounds like, it sounds safe to me. <laughs> if you are pregnant, please do not wear the laser helmet. Anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, do we have Costco in Canada? Yeah, we got a, we got a couple. Actually, we probably have like, I imagine there's like a hundred Costco's in Canada. There's two, well, there's one in Vancouver, and then there's one that's like right on the edge of Vancouver. It's technically in Burnaby. Normally I'd be, if someone was like, I'm from Vancouver, I'd be like, shut up. You know, you live on Boundary Road. Your ass is a Burnabarian. But Costco, I'm willing to welcome Costco into the city proper. I'm willing to say that Costco is part of Vancouver. That second one that's out on, um, I mean, literally like three blocks past Boundary Road. Anyway. So I'm, I'm in danger, perhaps, of getting too local-pilled again. I'd, I'd like to apologize for that. There's also one in Richmond. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't see myself going into that parking lot. I've been to the Richmond Ikea uh, a few times. That is, like, enough for me to, to be like... <laughs> if I have the opportunity to shop at a, a store... In Burnaby or in Richmond, as a Vancouverite, I would do the Burnaby one for sure. You ever been to the Richmond Night Market? I have been. One of the all-time great places to buy a fake Hello Kitty phone case and wait in line for 97 minutes to get a tornado potato. And also catch every infectious disease on the planet because the entire city is there every night in the weekend. Or a beaver tail? Now hold up. <laughs> I didn't know they had beaver tails there. What? The stream Sniper? They're using my exact build against me? I'm on one life. I, I think it's fair to say I might not be that focused today. Is there no Walmart in Canada? Oh, we got Walmarts, brother. Yeah, guys. There's motorcycles. Should have bought this first. And a lot of other stuff, too. My Walmart story, and again, you listen, I'm just gonna say it like 
stores in Vancouver are like, well, let me put it this way. Boutique stores in Vancouver are really nice. Like if you're looking to pay like $3,700 for a single chair or something like that, you can go to some of the most aesthetically pleasing showrooms in the country here, for sure. But like big box chain stores in Vancouver is like, you can't have shit in Vancouver. They're all like, it looks like a zombie apocalypse hit like every single one of them. So when Walmart opened up in Kingston, in my hometown, I was like, holy cow, this store is so nice. Look at this, wide aisles, open hearts, can't lose, shopping carts where like all four wheels actually work. This is like a luxury shopping experience. Then like three months ago, after I got my daughter her COVID vaccine, we were just killing time. So I was like, oh, there's a Walmart in this mall. I walked into the Walmart and I was like, what the hell happened here? It was like a tornado went through the inside of it. Like shelves were tipped over. There were like empty beer cans just sitting on displays and stuff like that. Like people were drinking inside of the Walmart and just leaving their cans around. It was, it was honestly like a, it was not a, a pleasant store to be in in the slightest. And then uh, this is when I was like heavily apple pilled. Let me be like a shiny bone. And uh, I bought like a, a, a three pound bag of Royal Gala apples. And then I opened it up and the apples were like literally the size of like tangerines. It was like they, I don't know if they picked them off of the tree before they were fully ripe or something like that, but they were this, they were like, Every apple was twice the size of your average grape. It was like something was wrong, man. Like all this shit in the aisles. If you walk down like the vacuum aisle, like 99% of the vacuums are opened already. I don't know if people just like <laughs> the, the, the employees used it to like clean up a mess or something like that. I will say, though, and this I, I'm not necessarily super like anti Walmart. I'm just I'm just ob observing. But I, they said, um, did you bring your own bags? And I said, no. And they gave me a free reusable bag. So that's, that's a luxury in the modern world for sure. I think they broke the civic law for me. But then the other thing I'll say is that the reusable bag that they gave me was so flimsy that I think if you took it outside in the rain, it would dissolve. Like, I think it might be made of like reconstituted tapioca sugar or something like that. Like it's... It was, it was thinner than the disposable swim trunks I got when I got a massage on the cruise ship. Did you eat any free samples? I did, but it wasn't a great free sample. Like, I felt bad for the lady doing it, because she, she just had, like, a, a huge bag of crushed walnuts, and she was putting them into those little, like, cupcake holders. I went over, I grabbed some walnuts, but like it, it felt like I was stealing a little bit because I already know what walnuts taste like. It's not like I needed the ramekin to, to, you know, jog my memory. I was basically just stealing food. And I said thank you to her as if like, like I even, uh, and this is true, I like pantomimed as I like, I took one bite of the walnut while I was standing at the free sample, like pulpit. And I was like, mm. And then I walked away with the rest, and I'm like, why did I do that? She knows that I know what walnuts. It's not, it's not like they got a new recipe. But it's like, that was the only free sample um, dais that was actually, like, accessible. Because whenever they, they're pulling shit out of, like, a toaster oven or an air fryer, it gets swarmed, man. It's like the last uh, Tickle Me Elmo Christmas Eve 1998, like... It's always like a little pizza bite or something like that. Hey, we got everything bagel pita chips. The whole thing is like, there's a 30 minute lineup. It's like the walnuts were the only thing that we, I could actually like fight my way up to the front. That's, I, I had to pivot to Tickle Me Elmo because I forgot what the doll was. Sorry, the action figure from uh, Jingle All The Way. You, but you are right. Be a pouting bagpipe. It is, um, it is Turbo Man. Were the walnuts roasted? Nah, man. Not at all. Completely raw. I mean, they were fine. I don't know what you want me to say. They're just walnuts. There was no... That's why it was such a, a farce to begin with. Did you see the husband abandon his wife in the Costco? I didn't. And I, I'm loath to say this. Because who knows if maybe this will be me someday. But I was literally like at 
It felt like being at a carnival to be at Costco. I was like, holy shit. Five, five pack of smart sweets, a bag that consists of 35 bags of veggie straws. Like, this is amazing. This is a, a flat screen TV. Antibiotics, like I can get anything here. But everybody in the Costco was looking so sad and stressed out. They were all like, ugh, ugh. Like, I, I, I just can't imagine not having a smile on your face when you're in Costco. If you're going to have a smile on your face when you're in any store, it should be Costco. It's like an adult theme park. Just wait two more visits. Well, here's, I guess it, I should say, like, this is my first visit in a while, so there's definitely, like, some novelty. But it was fucking busy last night. It was busy. It wears off. Honestly, I don't think it's going to wear off for me. Like, I respect you. I think you're probably telling your truth. I just think if I was there, it wouldn't go down like that. I think I'll always be happy to be in Costco. At least, it, it, let me put it this way. It won't be... Costco's fault if I'm not happy it'll be like something else will be going on in my day and then I'll just happen to be at Costco while I'm like pre-tilted from something else and then I'll be at Costco like with a scowl or something like that but but certainly on, on its own merits I don't think so I, th I think I'm I'm so pro Costco right now I can't even fathom it 